Turn to your left. Turn to your right. Face forward. Everybody's got a wall just like this that looks like it's from a police lineup. But today we're going to show you how to turn a blank boring wall into a work of art using just a stencil and some paint. Here's all you need to transform your own wall. A roll of paper towels, a stencil brush, a foam roller, a can of paint, a paint tray, and don't forget the stencil. We'll be linking to the one we used below. Okay, first step's gonna be pouring the paint for this project. We're using Rust-Oleum's Chalks Paint and Charcoal. We'll add a link below for this paint. Ash is gonna open it and pour it for us. And now we're gonna hang our first stencil. So we are starting just one stencil off this wall right here. And we're gonna start with this one because we can make a whole direct run without getting in the way of anything. Right. Ashley's gonna hold the level for us. I'm gonna hold the stencil up. We wanna make sure this first one is level and then we can go off of that. Go ahead. So we are taping this stencil up and we're gonna tape all four corners to the wall. There we go. All right, first stencil's hung. Now we're gonna start painting it. We're gonna roll it in the paint and you want the whole brush to be completely covered in paint. And then the biggest key here is that right after that, we're gonna roll it on the paper towel to get all the excess paint off. That way it doesn't seep through. And I'm gonna, it's like a, this is like a dry brush, but you're doing it with a foam roller. Exactly. And you're gonna do this one because there's only one stencil up there. So oh. we're gonna let you do the honors. All right. And we're gonna apply light to medium pressure. <clears throat> So we really love the look of encaustic tile and that is what we started thinking, what's an inexpensive way that we can get that look and that's when we discovered these stencils and decided to, to do this wall. Okay. okay, so at this point we have the first stencil completely done and we can pull that stencil off the wall. We don't need to clean it off before we attach it again until it starts, you know, once your paint gets too built up you can clean it, but we're okay right now. So we're pulling that off. Ooh. I like it. We're done. <laughs> Just like that. Okay, we've actually got two stencils, so we can use one while the other one's drying. You're gonna line it up with the outside marks that it left us, and we'll double check and make sure it's level. Looks pretty darn level to me. All right, okay. Not too much. <laughs> not too much, <laughs> not too little. Okay, right? So cute. I love it. So cute. <laughs> I'm gonna go stencil my whole house. <laughs> All right, now that we've got a system down, we're going to town on this wall. Shaney Town. Rather than pushing really hard on the brush to get your paint out, make several passes. It keeps the paint from going through and seeping under the stencil. These are genius. They'd be cute on pillows. Ashley's whole house is going to be stenciled next. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. Like white curtains would be cute. I think I'm moving faster than Whitney right now. I think we're even. It's no, even, actually. I'm done. Well, I got to talking, okay. All right. Mine is getting really wet, though. Ashley's full of she excuses. She trying to beat you. It's always a competition with that sister. <laughs> 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 Hi, I'm Ashley. <laughs> I'm stenciling a wall. Got it! Alright, here is another shame tip, guys. If you're doing a large area like the wall that we're doing, the paint's going to start to build up on the stencil, and then it's going to fleck little paint chips all over the wall, so just run it under water and rub off the paint. Here is the key to lining up these stencils. On each stencil, they have little grooves to show you where to line the next one up, so that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna put that mark right there, and you'll go line it up on the other one, and you're golden. This is what you get for telling me you're faster. Well, I'm coming in. You get to do the easy part. I oh, have to mine's make a the match easy up. part now all of a sudden. I have to match up two different ones. I just did that on camera. <laughs> So you don't have to make every single one of these the exact same thickness of paint. If it looks a little faded in pieces, that's good because that's how really encaustic tile is. It's got different variations per tile. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> that never gets old. <laughs>
Hey, wait, you know what this reminds me of? What? You remember like in the 80s when we had sponge painted walls? Oh, we had sponge painted everything. Sponge painted everything. And it's, this is like a modern day sponge painting Modern day me. sponge painting. It's come quite a ways. <laughs> Black and white, not teal and pink. <laughs> Another tip, guys, when you get into a corner, get a stencil brush to apply the paint. This is awesome. It looks like we tiled it all with encaustic tile. I know. Good so job, pretty. sis. Way to go. All right, guys, for under two hours and less than $50, we transform this police lineup wall into a work of art. So now I think it's time for a manicure. I need one.